In the last two videos, I created code to allow a user to pick or select a game object with the mouse. I also created code that allowed the game object to be moved around on a surface. In this video, I'm going to continue building on those pieces of code, but I'll be using the physics engine to move objects around the scene. This will allow the objects to push each other as well as providing a more satisfying drop when the object is released. If that sounds useful, let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is toggle off the flow machine on the pickable manager that is moving the objects around using the transform. Alternatively, you could also remove the flow machine or replace the flow macro with the one I'll create in this video. Next, I'll duplicate the flow macro from the last video and rename it RB move on surface. And I'll drop it into the flow machine on the pickable manager. I'm duplicating the code as much of the code remains the same when moving with a rigid body. Next, I'll select all three cubes and add a rigid body component leaving the default settings. With that done, I'm ready to work on modifying the code. I'll delete the transform position get unit, as well as move a couple units over to the right to make room for the physics-based units. When dragging the objects around, I need to change two settings on the rigid body components. The first is to turn gravity off, and the second is to toggle is kinematic to on. Turning is kinematic to on tells the physics engine that other code, and in this case, the script that I'm creating, will be controlling the movement of the object, but still allows the physics engine to do collisions. To do this, I'll need to add two new units. The first unit I can find by searching for rigid body use gravity. I'll connect the flow from the branch and drag the picked object variable into the rigid body input. Bolt and Unity are smart enough to get the rigid body component on the game object itself. I also want to make sure that the value on the use gravity unit is set to false. The second physics unit I need to add can be found by searching for rigid body is kinematic. I'll connect the flow and the picked object to the inputs. In this case, I want to make sure the value is set to true. I'll then connect the flow from the is kinematic unit to the lerp unit. Then I'll add a rigid body position get unit and connect the picked object to the input and the lerp to the output. Lastly, I need to replace the transform position set unit with a rigid body position set unit. It's important to know that the transform position and the rigid body position are not always identical, or at least they shouldn't be interchanged. The reason is that the transform gets updated every frame and the frame rate can vary, whereas the rigid body gets updated by default at a fixed 50 frames per second. So the two can be out of sync or have slightly different values. Let's give it a test and see how it works. You can see now that the object moves around the scene like in previous videos, but this time the blocks can collide so I can push objects around with the object that I'm dragging. You may also notice that if I release the mouse button, the object does not fall back down to the ground, so I need to add a little more code. Now back into the flow macro, I'm going to add a box around the code to keep things tidy, as the next chunk of code will have its own separate flow. This next chunk needs to turn gravity back on, as well as toggle the is kinematic off, and it needs to do this when the mouse button is released. To get started, I'm going to add an update event as well as a null check unit to make sure that the picked object is not null, just like I did in earlier videos. If the object is not null, then I want to check if the left mouse button has been released. I'll do this by adding an input get mouse button up and connecting the flow and boolean outputs to a branch. If the branch evaluates is true, I want to toggle gravity back on, so I'll search for and add a rigid body use gravity set unit, making sure to toggle the value as true and then drag in the picked object variable and connect it to the rigid body input. I'll then add a rigid body is kinematic set unit and connect it like so. I'll also make sure the value is set as false. I'll finish the code up by adding a box around this code and giving it an appropriate title. There's one more improvement that I can make and I didn't catch it until after I'd first recorded this video. That improvement is to replace both of the update events with fixed update events. Fixed update works just like regular updates, but they do so at 50 frames per second by default. This rate can be changed in the physics settings of your project. Using fixed update instead of the regular update keeps the physics engine happy and keeps everything in sync. So once again, let's push play and test out our code. You can see that I can still drag objects around, but now when I release the mouse button, the object drops back to the surface of the plane making for more satisfying functionality. So there you go. In the last three videos, I've created scripts that can select a game object by using the mouse, as well as move objects around using the transform or the rigid body components. 
So a big thank you to all those who voted on my community page and helped me choose this topic. If you found the video useful or helpful, please think about hitting the subscribe and like buttons. If you want to go even further in supporting the channel, check out a link to my Discord server and Patreon page in the video description below. So until next time, happy game designing.